I'm very excited about today's edition of Weather 101 because I'm answering my very first question from a viewer. And it's a very good one too. What are fronts? The answer is coming up. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back today with another Weather 101 video where I try to answer your weather questions. And I'm very excited about today's edition because I got my very first question from a viewer and I'm gonna answer it today. And it comes from Snoop352 who watched my last video about high and low pressure systems. And I'll put a link down here uh, for you if you haven't seen that one yet. But it's a very good question directly connected to that video. And he asked, what about warmer stationary fronts, what do those mean? And that's a very good question, Snoop, and here's the answer. To put it simply, a front is just a boundary that separates two different types of air masses. They can be cold or warm, they can be dry or moist, it can be a combination of any of those, but the front is the line that separates those two different types of air masses. Fronts are also usually the focal point of nasty weather, like severe thunderstorms, snow, rain, that kind of stuff. And you'll also notice a shift in the wind direction as the front passes by. We indicate fronts on a weather map by drawing colorful lines using triangles and semicircles to indicate the direction the front is moving in most cases. You'll also notice that most fronts are connected to some sort of low pressure system, which is the big red L that we talked about in my last video. There's actually four different types of fronts. A cold front, a warm front, a stationary front, and an occluded front. Now let's talk about each of those. A cold front is just the boundary between cold air behind the line and warm air ahead of the line. It's shown on a weather map as a blue line with triangles pointing in the direction the front is moving. Cold fronts tend to be the focal point for the most drastic changes in the weather, especially during the spring and fall when the seasons are transitioning from hot to cold and vice versa. When this front passes, you'll usually experience windy and stormy weather, followed by a dramatic drop in temperatures. A warm front, as you would expect, is the opposite of a cold front. It has warm air behind the line and cold air ahead of the line. It's shown on a weather map as a red line with semicircles. They point in the direction the front is moving. When this front passes, you'll usually experience cloudy skies, breezy conditions, and steady rain or snow. On occasion, you can also get severe storms, but they aren't as frequent as the storms you get with a cold front. You'll also notice the air begin to warm as the boundary moves away from you. A stationary front is exactly what it sounds like, a front that isn't moving. This front is indicated on a map with a red and blue alternating line with triangles and semicircles pointing in opposite directions. If a stationary front is in the neighborhood, you'll usually get cloudy skies and steady rain or storms for several days until it either dies out or changes into a cold or warm front and moves away. And finally, we're talking about an occluded front. This happens when a fast-moving cold front catches up to its much slower counterpart, a warm front. Occluded fronts are indicated on a weather map as a purple line with alternating triangles and semicircles that point in the direction the front is moving. This front indicates that a storm system, which is what we call a low pressure and its associated fronts, has reached maturity and is beginning to fall apart. Occluded fronts produce all types of weather since they exhibit the traits of both cold and warm fronts. So in a nutshell, fronts are usually just lines that divide cold and warm air, and they usually produce nasty weather. I hope that answered your question, Snoop. I appreciate you watching and everyone else out there watching as well. If you ever have a question that's weather related that you'd like to have answered, just drop them in the comments section below, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Until next time, see ya!